drone footage reveals over 100 whales trapped in secret underwater jails. What were they doing there? Either way, you're gonna have to watch on to find out on this one. More than 100 cetaceans had been found cooped up inside a series of tiny enclosures off Russia's Pacific coast. This is near the southeastern city of Narkotka. In total, 11 orcas and 90 beluga whales are being housed in what activists are now calling a whale jail, potentially illegal. That is the largest number of marine animals to be held in such a way, reports Whale and Dolphin Conservation, or WDC, a UK-based wildlife charity. It is thought the cetaceans have been caught and kept to be sold off to ocean-themed parks in China at a hefty price, with businesses doling out up to $6 million or even more for their very own free willy. The country has more than 60 marine parks and at least 12 more are under construction, the Telegraph reports. While the operation of buying and selling cetaceans for entertainment is strictly illegal, they can only be captured for scientific and educational reasons. The international law banning the activity is routinely flouted. Just take the four companies responsible for these 101 jailed cetaceans, which between them exported 13 orchids to China between 2013 and 2016, an investigation led by local media and the investigative newspaper Novaya Gazeta found. Other companies reportedly utilize a loophole in the law that doesn't explicitly forbid renting whales. Last week, a video emerged of a crane lifting a whale and placing it in a tank on shore, presumably ready to be moved to a new destination. Prosecutors are currently looking into the case to find out whether or not these cetaceans have been caught for scientific or educational purposes, as the companies say they have, and this is despite the fact that the footage clearly shows many more cetaceans than the 13 they reportedly received permission to capture earlier this year. Lawyers will also examine the conditions they are being kept in, which Greenpeace Russia has described as torture. The size of enclosures and the number of orcas and belugas spotted also suggests that the tanks may contain infants, activists say, a practice that is completely off-limits, even for scientific and educational purposes. Experts worry that the scale of this activity is not just damaging for the cetaceans held in the enclosures, but for the species' future. Catching them at this tempo, we risk losing our entire orca population, Greenpeace Russia Research Coordinator Ogans Targulian told The Telegraph. The capture quota is now 13 animals a year, but no one is taking into account that at least one orca is killed for everyone that is caught. I think it's pretty clear that a situation like this warrants investigating. While it is not absolute proof of a crime, it's something akin to capturing video footage of a large group of people standing on or near a building in what could be a defensive line, all wearing the same color. Legally, you can't prove that anyone is guilty of anything, but anyone with any knowledge of criminal activity would consider it at least worthy of investigation. The problem here is it seems that there is not a high enough authority willing to give these potential crimes their proper scrutiny. The illegal whale selling markets seem to be thriving, with even official bodies openly buying these whales and showcasing them in their exhibits. There needs to be tighter regulation on these things. But where would it come from? Perhaps the UN could step in, but United Nations efforts are often less than forceful. Hopefully a resolution can be found, and perhaps there really is no illegal activity going on, but it should at least be investigated. That's our video for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click on one of the other two videos above right now and have a good day.